Hello and welcome to this online service brought to you by St Andrews Bushy Heath, Carpenters Park and South Oxy and Bushy and Oxy Methodist Churches. Today it's Homelessness Sunday, a day when we reflect on homelessness and the issues surrounding it in the United Kingdom. But it's also harvest time, a wonderful time of year when the leaves are changing colour but unfortunately the days are also getting shorter and cooler. Today our service is led by the Reverend Richard Lawson and will focus on Harvest Time and our Harvest Charity Christian Aid and its work in Malawi. Thank you to all those who have already made a donation to this, to this appeal. And now let us begin our service with a prayer. Let us pray. Wonderful Creator, we come into your company to listen to your word, to hear your voice, and to know your grace in this place and in our lives. Amen. Good morning. This morning's Old Testament reading is taken from the book of Psalms, chapter 65, verses 8 to 13. The whole world stands in awe of the great things that you have done. Your deeds bring shouts of joy from one end of the earth to the other. You show care for the land by sending rain. You make it rich and fertile. You fill the streams with water. You provide the earth with crops. This is how you do it. You send abundant rain on the ploughed fields. You soak them with water. You soften the soil with showers and cause the young plants to grow. What a rich harvest your goodness provides. 
Wherever you go there is plenty. The pastures are filled with flocks. The hillsides are full of joy. The fields are covered with sheep. The valleys are full of wheat. Everything shouts and sings for joy. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Zinanga ndine jene dibeni ndindiza ka 31 ndi makala kuchikwa ku mkunu kwa ngabu mudzi mwa malinia 2 ndine okwatiwa ndinde ana atatu kwa muna mudzi akazawiri kwa nkazi uyo yamba yo zinake ndi lihana kasaira wina yo fortune kasaira wachitatu yo ndi jumlani kasaira Mwana wangu mimi ya mafladi chimene chima sokera kwa mbili pa moyo wanga chinali cha kuja chokuja choti tizija mwina mama wa masana madzulu chimavuta mavero wake ti maja mwina kamodzi pa tsiku Ine kugulugu mwana pita ko posilira zinzanga mene ni mawo na kupita kugulu amaruku ka ku makomo kwao mena machokera Zambiri amatha kuzipeza chifwene kuti amapita kugulu ndi ineso ndina chimva kuti nane ndikayambe gulu Ndipo ndina ya mbadi gulu. Chintu yimene ja sinta mwe wanga mpa wino mosi anisa ndi mbuyo panopa mwe wanga omakhala mosangalala Ananga, Mavida Raja Guskuru, Mama Wa, Kumati, Wa Bredi, Baga Pinati, Chifuaja Guru. Ubino Ogui Sanchito Sola, Kumbariama Friji, Leonina Guti Sola, Imari Chandizira, Mujuis Watu Guti Asaori, Chifuana Udi Sola, Sid and Gerabudi Magisa Tima, Gabina. Sana timi ya. Sola ima kala ibubila minchido wa masibonsi wa deyi tibunditi mtawi ni mtawi. Banja anga panopo ima kala mosa nga lala. Ndipo ni mata uweze kani ndrama yanga yanga batumba. Osa adisu wende la kupempa abambo ya. Ni mabeze kani ndrama. Sai jairo sika mari zani. See. 
the fruitful harvest our gracious God provides and how in his abundance our needs are satisfied he sends the yearly seasons and feeds with joy and care your light and living water poured out for all to share Lord of all the harvest creation brings you praise so we will join the joyful song of everything you made You know, it's always good to see how life is for somebody else, to see what life's like for Janet in Malawi. It was good to share her story, a story of hope and transformation. The sad thing is that it was climate change, global warming that caused those problems in Malawi. You know, we're part of the problem and we need to be part of the solution. You know, the world is a beautiful thing, a fragile thing, and it's up to us to care and respect creation. Today I want to quote some words from Bob Dylan. I don't often quote Bob Dylan. I'm not really a Bob Dylan fan, but I came across these words of a, a song he wrote back in the 70s. He tapped into his Jewish roots and the Amida prayer. It's a song called Father of Night. Father of night, father of day, father who taketh the darkness away, father who teacheth the bird to fly, builder of rainbows up in the sky, father of loneliness and pain, father of love and father of rain, father of day, father of night, father of black, father of white, father who built the mountain so high, who shaped the cloud up in the sky, Father of time, father of dreams, father who turneth the rivers and streams. Father of grain, father of wheat, father of cold and father of heat. 
Father of air and Father of trees, who dwells in our hearts and memories, Father of minutes, Father of days, Father of whom we most solemnly praise. Bob Dylan there. You know, it was St. Columba, the 6th century Irish saint, who said, if you want to know the Creator, you've got to know creation. I hope this harvest time, I hope this autumn, you get that chance to look again at creation, to discover the beauty, the fragility, and see the great Creator God. Amen. Prayers of concern. Generous God of justice, of peace, and of fair provision for all, we lift the brokenness of this world to you. We bring before you those who have little while others have plenty, those who worry about where the next meal will come from. Lord, through your Holy Spirit, Show us what we can do to make a difference. We bring before you those who have worked hard to bring us the food and produce to fill our fridges and cupboards, sometimes in difficult conditions and for poor wages. We pray for the packers, shippers, refiners, lorry drivers, shop assistants and store managers. Lord, through your Holy Spirit, show us what we can do to make a difference. Gracious God, when we take a tomato from the fridge, cut a slice of bread or pour some rice into a pan, bring to our minds the process of producing the food we eat. Make us mindful of the need to reduce waste 
and to eat sensibly and healthily. Lord, through your Holy Spirit, show us what we can do to make a difference. We bring before you the aid agencies and those who work or volunteer for them. We bring before you those in government throughout the world that they may see the needs of their people and prioritise them before profit and power and their own benefit. Move the hearts of all to recognise the needs of the hungry and destitute. Lord, through your Holy Spirit, show us what we can do to make a difference. We pray for those who are grieving, in pain or frightened, those who need healing, your love and grace. We pray for those who work in healthcare, social care and the emergency services. Lord, through your Holy Spirit, show us what we can do to make a difference. We pray for ourselves. We bring before you our worries, our health concerns, our loneliness and our stresses. We pray for all those we love and care about. Lord, through your Holy Spirit, show us what we can do to make a difference. God for all people, Lord of light, gracious and loving Saviour, being among us now, Lord, through your Holy Spirit, show us what we can do to make a difference. Amen.
Thank you for joining us at the end of this our harvest celebration. Thank you for all those who've taken part, who've contributed in any way. If you'd like to support our harvest charity, Christian Aid, either do it via their website, there is a, a, a way you can give, or there are envelopes in all of our churches that go to our Christian Aid appeal. Thank you for being with us today and I just want to finish with a final blessing. O tree of life, send your roots deep into my life. Search through the mud of my indifference. Push past the stones of my selfishness. Seek instead the soil of my compassion. Find there the water of my generosity. O tree of life, draw from me all that I can offer to bring buds of hope for the wasted lands and leaves for the healing of the nations. Amen. Have a great week till next week and see you soon. Take care. God bless.